we've just checked into our room at Privilege Alusha's in Isla Mujeres. Uh, we are in a superior Alusha's room with a balcony and a whirlpool tub. You can see it's pretty small. Um, you know, it just kind of has the basics, nothing really fancy. There's the bed, nightstand, there's a shelf where you can put some of your stuff. There's a little bit of a mini bar um, right here. If you have the all-inclusive package, the mini bar is included. There's some teas and coffees, an ice bucket. In here we have the safe, a couple of shelves. Those are pretty tall. It's kind of hard to tell, but they're pretty tall. I don't think I'd be able to reach or see anything up there. And then down here we have a mini fridge. In the mini fridge, we've got um, some sodas, some beers, a water bottle, looks like maybe some sort of chocolate. Um, there was also a bag of chips, but my husband is already consuming those. In here we have the closet. And there's an ironing board, some robes, an iron, um, a good spot probably to put your shoes down here and then also more shelves up there. But like I said already, it's very, very tall. And then we have the bathroom. So the bathroom's nice and spacious. It's pretty long. There's a um, really wide sink. Some basic toiletries. We've already taken a couple of the things that they have there, but they have a very extensive toiletry list. There's um, a shower cap. There's even um, a shoe polisher. There's a shaving kit. I think there were earplugs, um, a bunch of different kinds of body wash, shampoo, conditioner, all of that. Here we have the shower. So nice and big. Towels are loose down there. <laughs> Some towels. And then through here, we've got the toilet. Super long, um, really long bathroom in here. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys our balcony. Now, mind you, we didn't get a, <laughs> that's my husband. <laughs> oh no, let's, there we go. <laughs> He's working on soaking up the uh, hot tub right now to kind of rinse it out and clean it out since the piece is kind of grimy. And then we didn't pay more for a view or anything. Um, we don't spend a lot of time in our room, so it's not important to us, but this is our view. You can see the ocean through there a little bit. And then through here is a door that leads in into the shower. So you can't get into it, but you can walk out of the shower and onto your balcony from there.
So I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the beach area at Privilege Alouches. Uh, you can see the showers over there. Um, for context, I just stepped up to the beach club area from uh, crossing the street by our room. There's the bathrooms. It's early in the morning, so they're working on getting everything cleaned up and ready to go. This is the beach club. Uh, you can have an a la carte breakfast service here. You do need a reservation, uh, so you have to make that the day before. Um, and then this is where you get your beach lunch, snacks, things like that. They have a really good beach service here. Uh, there's some hammocks. Every set of chairs on the beach does have a palapa, which we really appreciated. There's no like fight to make sure that you have access to shade on the beach. They are pretty close together, which makes it kind of annoying to walk through, but um, you know, it's worth it to make sure that everybody has shade. So you can see there's tons and tons of seats. I don't even know how many. <laughs> there's a lot, probably enough for just about every room. You can see uh, it's about eight in the morning right now and you can see that there's still tons of open seats. Some of the best ones, like the ones up front or the ones that have tall enough palapas have already been claimed. Um, they've got towels and books and things like that. But there's still a ton of open accessible seats. In the front, um, you have the Bali beds that are available for rent. They're about $50 a day. Um, they don't really come with anything special other than being in the front row. Uh, they do bring you some towels and uh, water bottles and things like that. But other than that, the beach service is the same. It's just nice to not have to get out here early. Make sure that you have some really nice seats. There's quite a few of those. This resort is located very near to Playa Norte, uh, one of the most beautiful beaches in Mexico. Um, if you walk down that way, there's like a corner, you walk around to the corner and you are on Playa Norte. It's beautiful. Uh, the water is much calmer over there than it, we've experienced here. Um, so we've walked out there to swim and float a little bit. You can see the docks where all the uh, boats come in with the guests. The water is beautiful. It's clean. Um, there's not a lot of seaweed or anything like that that you can get in Mexico. Um, my only real complaint is that it's been a little choppy and a little rough this trip. Um, I guess that's pretty common for the season in March. Uh, there it tends to be a little bit windier um, and it tends to be a little bit wavier as well. But like I said, if you go around the corner kind of behind uh, that beach club right there, the water gets a lot calmer. It is a lot busier though. Um, one other thing to note is that this is a public beach and so in the morning you can see it's pretty much empty, but towards the mid to late afternoon uh, there's a lot of day trippers that come in from Cancun um, and they like to set up on the beach. Uh, so it gets pretty crowded uh, during the day. So if you like a calm, nice, quiet beach, definitely make sure to come out here in the morning. All right, so now we're gonna leave the beach area so you can see it right there. This is the little street that you do have to cross to get from the main parts of the resort to the beach, but it's not a big deal. There's usually some golf carts and scooters, so look both ways before you cross, but it's a pretty small street. This is the terrace in, I believe the restaurant is called Sabor. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. There's a bar right there where you can get some drinks. They also have an espresso maker, cold brew, all kinds of coffee and things over there. Um, I got a caramel frappuccino that had Bailey's in it. It was delicious. And then there's some really nice, comfortable seating where you can just kind of sit and relax, sip your drink. They've got music playing. And then from there, we're gonna go check out the pool. We really enjoyed the pool here a lot. It's huge um, and very well kept. So it's kind of split up into two parts. So there's this little pool over by itself over here. Some Bali beds. Um, the Bali beds that are by the pool are free. You do not have to pay to reserve those. And then of course, um, all the seats and everything like that, uh, you don't have to pay for. Plenty of umbrellas, plenty of shade. And then the large portion of the pool is kind of split up by that little bridge you can walk under. 
there's the swim up bar. Morning. They do a lot of live music over here during the day. Um, they usually have a little setup stage right here um, where they play some live music, all different kinds of music. Um, we heard like oldies and dance and all kinds of stuff. Uh, this pool does get very busy, um, very full during the day. It's definitely a hopping spot. Everyone wants to be here. There's, there's always a big crowd around the swim up bar. Plenty of seats. It's never really an issue finding shade. There's a hot tub over there. We couldn't seem to make it work for us this trip. I don't know if it's down or maybe we just didn't know how to do it. But there you go. Then back here by the spa, you will find another hot tub kind of tucked away in the corner over here. Again, we could not figure out how to turn this on. I'm sure there's a way we probably could have asked someone, but we just didn't. There's the massage hut. And then back through here. Morning. It's where you will get your fresh towels in the morning. Morning. <coughs> they um, do give you two towel cards that you can use every day, and then you have to make sure to get those turned in at checkout or you will be charged for the towels that you didn't turn in. And then we've got a couple of bathrooms by the pool. And then back there is all the rooms. I don't know what categories of rooms these are, but there's a lot of them. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the fitness center. Uh, it was pretty small and basic, but it got the job done. So here you can see just some basic cardio machines. There was an elliptical, bike, treadmills, and then they had this cable machine. It couldn't really be adjusted, so you could really only use it for uh, lap pull downs or cable rows, but it went pretty heavy, so you're, you, know, you can still get a good workout on it. Then they had a bench with a Smith machine, and so the bench could be adjusted to suit a variety of exercises, um, and then, you know, a bar. Here are the weights. They had some basic plates, and then they also had these adjustable dumbbells, which were pretty nice. Uh, the dumbbell rack only went up to 30 pounds. These went up to about 20 kilograms, which I think is like 45 pounds. Um, so it was nice to kind of have a little bit of a heavier option. And then here are the plates, just so you can see uh, how much those weigh. Those were the plates that you could use on the Smith machine. All right, so let's talk about the food. We'll go ahead and start with the breakfast buffet. So uh, there were a ton of options. Here you can see some of the condiments, sauces, salsa, things like that. They had your basic, you know, bacon, hash brown potatoes. They had some unique options like grilled tomatoes and uh, chicken burritos. And then these were all the toppings for the omelet station. Um, they did change them up every day, which was nice. One thing to say with the omelet station is that there was a sign that said to order your omelet with your waiter, but our waiter never asked us. There wasn't really a chance. And when we were walking around, the chef offered to make it. So we just ordered it directly from the omelet station every day. Here you see some dried meats, cheeses, hard boiled eggs. Then you have the fresh fruit. There was a ton of fresh fruit, melons and papaya, all sorts of stuff. Uh, they had some prepared smoothies and juices and then tons of breads and pastries, anything you could think of. They had um, donuts and sourdough bread and all sorts of things, um, tons of options there. Next, let's talk about the beach club. So this is where we ordered lunch every single day. It's super nice, it gets delivered right to your beach chair and there's a huge menu with a ton of options. Uh, here is a shrimp poke bowl. They have got a few different poke bowl options. Uh, this was the tropical ceviche. They also have a few different ceviches. This was a caprese salad. Another poke bowl, this time teriyaki chicken. Uh, my husband ordered a hot dog that was just loaded with tons of toppings on it. And then this was from the a la carte breakfast that you do have to reserve at the beach club. That is the uh, Mexican breakfast. And then I got avocado toast 
with egg whites. Both were delicious. All right, next up is our dinner at Sabor, their Asian restaurant. So these were our appetizers. Both were really good. Um, my husband got this uh, Japanese fried chicken that he really enjoyed, thought it was super unique. For our entrees, I got a beef bowl and he got Kung Pao chicken. Both were really good. And then um, my husband got this fried ice cream for dessert that was really cool. They came out and like lit this alcohol on fire and poured it back and forth a little bit before pouring it over the ice cream. Um, so that was really cool to see. The last thing that I wanna talk about is room service. They do have a full room service menu. So breakfast, lunch, dinner, late night snacks, whatever you would want. Uh, there's a ton of options. There's pizzas, burgers, uh, sushi, all sorts of things. I do just want to point out this breakfast card. So for the normal room service, you do have to call it in and then wait, or you can fill out this breakfast card, put it outside of your door before midnight and have it delivered at a scheduled time instead of having to wake up and then wait. 